just um, organizing this show. <laughs> I talked to uh, Victoria and she told me that uh, she sometimes she has time to talk to um, uh, parents, gra um, grandparents. But Victoria, am I right? This is what you told me yeah. sometimes. <laughs> I'm actually from the millennium generation. I think you are generation X, Z. Which generation are you? Gen Z. Gen Z, right? During my generation, my time, uh, we didn't have a lot that could obstruct our faith. Uh, we could only uh, follow the path, uh, the footsteps of our, our parents. Um, the reason why I'm asking this, uh, Victoria, um, Tevin said that actually uh, looking back to or just fetching from the roots of Christianity um, could be one of the strategies to cope. Um, do you think Victoria, just talking to our parents, our, our grandparents, all the all those elders, um, there's something we can just learn from their experience that can help us to cope? Uh, in this challenging uh, world for us to stay in the right path we are youth and our role model is Jesus Christ right? the followers of Jesus Christ they have been said that um, actually the roots of Christianity the roots are very important yeah it is it is actually important Mm -hmm. Yeah. As you say, even up to now, some of us are coping up the root mm -hmm. of our parents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like for me, by then, I don't used to move to church mm -hmm. or going for practice, yeah, song practices. Mm -hmm. Then I would just stay at home. After finishing the home activity, I just sleep. If my mom come from work, she will be like, you just have nothing to do. After finishing work, don't sleep. You better go for to church mm -hmm. and do some song practice. You you join the choirs. Mm -hmm. Then I'll be like, okay, next time I'll go. Every time like that. Then I decided, okay, let me join the choir members and start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You enjoy it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've actually enjoyed it. <laughs> so this is something you are going also to advise your your kids mm -hmm. when time comes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Tevin. What are um, just are the solutions for um, those challenges that the youth is facing currently? Um, I'd give a few uh, one is to educate. Um, the mm -hmm. uh, of the Bible of Christianity in general, mm -hmm. the history of Christianity, the, the uh, theology that's the science of science of um, the God, how the mechanics of it. So teachings would be able to uh, avail you with knowledge. So decisions will be based on knowledge. Mm -hmm. And um, I would also, one solution is to encourage, um, okay, the second one, to encourage um, the formation of uh, communities where um, amongst the youths, they can be able to be in an environment amongst them, among their peers where they can um, feel free to talk, feel free to uh, engage in conversations that are about what are currently what are going on what is going on currently and how they can be able to cope with that situation um, the third thing I would say is to encourage youth to deeply know Jesus to to have a deeper understanding of of Jesus Christ once you get to know him personally, we, um, a prayer that is very common uh, among us is for us to know Jesus Christ personally. Mm -hmm. 
So I feel like if you developing a relationship with Jesus Christ um, can be a good anchor mm -hmm. uh, in how to navigate life because life can bring so many things. But if you're able mm -hmm. to develop... So if we compare life to a boat, a big boat or ship? Yes, mm. I can say that. Mm. Um, it's it's stable. Let's say if you if uh, if we relate life to a boat, your anchor is your relationship to Jesus. So mm -hmm. let's say when your relationship when your relationship with Jesus is firm, you can be stable, mm. um, or you can be. If the waters become rough, mm -hmm. you still be stable. So, yeah, that's one advice I'll give. Oh, that's a solution I can give towards mm -hmm. faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very important. Victoria, mm. Mm -hmm. I, I'm very sure you have something to share with the youth. What, uh, what would you give them? Mm. 